We are at Pleasure Beach Resort in what? Blackpool, where the big one is open on the second week, day three technically, of its 2024 theme park season. We were in doubt, like, you know, we sort of knew it was going to be ready for this weekend, but the wind, the weather forecast was windy, and it was a bit windy this morning, and I think it opened a bit late. But it opened, we're in Burger King. We saw it on Twitter it opened, went straight to it. How was we it? Feel, I well. think the big one was running well, but the retrack is, uh, you can tell yeah. they've done a bit that's yeah. like wearing away rather than a bit that's like. Yeah. So basically, this year it's had its fifth retrack, and uh, it's basically as you come up from the first drop. So basically, that bit's probably new track, you can't even tell from it like there, like just that bit there, sort of coming up from after the first drop that has been retracked. And as we've just said, as Ben's just said, it wasn't really a rough area in a ride. However, it's not always about the smoothness. There's obviously like wear and tear that happens in the track. Turns 30 this year, who knows if they're doing anything for that, obviously. That's the topic for another video another time. It's fifth retrack, like I say, obviously, it's all fresh in there. One of, the, one of those pieces of track that was replaced, well, wasn't replaced, one of them was refurbished completely and then the rest were replaced by Tazika, of course. And they've done a great job. Like I say, Big One hasn't really ran rough for like years now. 2018. So, yeah, literally. So, like, whatever retrack they do, it makes like a minor improvement to the smoothness of certain areas of the ride. And um, obviously, yeah, like the whole wear and tear stuff, like it avoids that and keeps up, keeps the Big One going. Uh, because it's still the tallest operating roller coaster in the UK. No, for now. Um, but yeah, I'd say 30 years it's kept sort of kept that record. So yeah. I was in two minds on whether to vlog today and then obviously the big one opened and then like there's so many changes around the park. We have two hours left. It's three o'clock now, two hours left. But uh, yeah, there's been plenty of changes around the park, plenty of stuff that I didn't mention in the opening day vlog. And basically um, I wanted to see and sort of put a video out there to see has things in, have things improved since last Saturday because this time last week there were a lot of negativity around uh, because yeah like the weather wasn't like this the operations weren't like they are today stuff like that there was a lot of downtime and I can confirm that within 24 hours all that stuff was sorted we came back on the Sunday um, of opening weekend and it was only to great the only thing that was missing from that day was a uh, big one but even that's been resolved now so yeah there's been barely any downtime today i'm not seeing any anyway um, there's been a few rides that were open last week that are just closed all weekend this weekend which we'll get on to like i say we're a bit short on time but two hours i do want to do sort of an updates video because yeah so much has changed and then obviously my hair's going everywhere but yeah big one being open it just makes the park feel so much better basically it's quite busy on park as well which is good uh, ben thinks this pleasure beach resort rebrand re is working yes and i agree like it, it's clearly getting people to the park <laughs> so you know fingers crossed it stays that way anyways let's be off and go do some rides get the updates in just on wallace and gromit literally just then it's all working well better than last week Apart from the ending, after the blur, um, the final bit of like audio isn't working. That and then the final screen, like telly screen, which basically has Wallace and Gromit waving at you, like Ben's doing. Uh, well done. It had some, well, that to yeah. Oh that, oh, that was riveting. Well, it was a blank screen last week, and today it was a. It was a file. File manager, yeah, and it looked like it had some sort of Instagram logo there as well. So yeah, not perfect with Wallace and Gromit. It's time to do Alice in Wonderland, which I did on Sunday off camera last opening weekend. Well, last week, last opening weekend, on opening weekend, and it looks amazing in there. So we'll talk a bit about it after we've been on it. It's Ben's first time this season since all these improvements. All right then, what are we saying about Alice? Uh, it was good it apart was good, from the audio. The audio kept yeah, out. the audio kept cutting out, but visually, it was very literally, ev yeah, literally every single bit of theming in there has been like freshly painted. But like, I think it's got like fresh like UV lights. What are they called? <laughs> UV <laughs> um, light. Yeah. Um, so basically, the brighter than ever. 
and yeah, they just look great. Um, and then obviously there's the smells, um, the audio when it works properly. Um, yeah, and it's not just the inside of the ride that's been done up as well, the exterior is looking fantastic. Um, I'll put some shots on now. Um, yeah, they've done some fresh paint work to stuff outside on the exterior. Like Alice, inside and out. <laughs> that would not sound right. <laughs> yeah, on the interior and the exterior, Alice is looking both fresh and just beautiful. great, really. Yeah, beautiful. Um, there was like a bit of an animatronic that's been removed though. Um, I thought it wasn't working last week, but it's actually been removed and it's just been freshly done. Like the, cat the caterpillar's like feet, legs, whatever, that used to like run. Um, yeah, looks like they've gone and it's just sort of like as if the caterpillar's stood on some mushroom or something if I remember rightly now. So that's interesting, but yeah, everything else is fine. Like the tail moves up and down and stuff like that. Wait, did, did it, um, wave at you sort of thing yeah like. the thing went up yeah yeah that went up i don't remember that but yeah uh, <laughs> i think it's, it's meant to be like a thumbs up gesture but uh, it, it doesn't like look like it that ride is looking great and yeah credit to pleasure beach and the maintenance team and the paint work team and everyone behind that for sort of giving it a really big freshen up like it's not like they've done one or two scenes it's not like they've done a few bits of the exterior they've literally done everything so yeah fair play nice blast update time um yeah it's still in a bit of a state to be honest something has been added back near the entrance to the ride but yeah it's just not looking good is it i mean I've been thinking, I thought, I was thinking about this this morning, sure. like, ridiculous rumours, ridiculous rumours, start, ridiculous rumors. right, sorry to spread some ridiculous rumours, whatever, coming back, you need to but, you need to stop but, saying some ridiculous there used to be a sign there, I'm pretty sure, with a bit about the ride, there's this fence that used to be here for the Easy Pass queue, the sign for the Easy Pass the queue has gone, the is gone, yeah, the ride access pass, you don't have to pre-book, <laughs> Um, the fences have been removed, as I pointed out last week. Oh, they're there. Oh, so they still have them. Oh, well, maybe they can go back. The fences are still there. Yeah, I do, I do believe it's coming back, but I just don't understand why they've let it get into this bad of a state just to bring it back. I mean, if you enter the park from this side after you go through the ticket scanning things, you can have a go out that side, near guest services or this side. It's the first thing you see and it's just a closed <laughs> ride. I mean there's I know I just nearly elbowed Ben. And there's cables hanging out which can probably be reinserted into whatever. But yeah I just don't understand why they've removed so much stuff really when like yeah if they are gonna bring it back. But yeah they're awaiting apart. Like I do believe it'll come back at some point but yeah as I said like I just why remove like that sign and the easy pass queue fence and Maybe like to stuff like that? From ice blast to the blast, a bit like what Drayton Manor did with chocolate. Maybe at least that's still up to be fair. But yeah, even there, like I swear, there used to be like a "don't use your phone" sort of sign. Um, like here, I don't even think there was one there. But you can see why there used to be some sanitizers there or something. Like I don't even know. Um, but yeah. Then here, like, I swear there used to be an ice blast sign here, but like, that might be my bad memory. Last week, this height chart wasn't here, and it's already been scratched. <laughs> but that's not the park's fault. Um, yeah, they removed this height chart last week, and that was another thing that people were using to suggest, like, yeah, it's going sort of thing. Um, and there's no, this ride opens at close, and this ride closes at today sign here either. Um, but yeah, at least the height chart's back. Um, but yeah, apart from that, this fence thing's still here, which, like, doesn't even look openable. So I don't understand that. Um, and then, yeah, apart from that, I guess that's it. Um, like, this is what I, that's your Ice Blast update. Um, yeah, sure it will come back eventually, but like I said, they have just sort of made they've sort of led us to suggest things like when you're putting that up and removing the height chart and removing signs and stuff it wouldn't be a video from pleasure beach about looking at the ride parts not much has changed from last week but thought i'd come in here and show you anyway 
There's still loads of 12 inch wheels from Infusion and Big One, still 250 quid. Still There's still the course. Derby Racer, are they? Yeah, that's right. He got his 12 um, for 80 quid. What's this? I know. I swear that Derby Racer wheel is heavier than the big one wheel. <laughs> that's crazy. Quite Derby similar. Racing. Like, I don't know. Like, smaller than the big one wheel. Um, yeah, steeplechase brakes. Um, wood. They don't work. Or they don't work at the last second. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I say, not much. What's this? I didn't see this last week. Looks like a big one side wheel that she isn't labelled. Like it does look they've like, got a, it does look like that. To be yeah, they've got a bit better at labelling parts. I do apologise. Recently, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I don't know. It does look better without like the label. Like this is just what it is, sort of thing. But how are you meant? To like yeah, heavy, you've got to know what it is. You've got to be a very hard mouse someone who. I tell you what though, like, is it from? Big one though, because it doesn't say arrow anyway. That anywhere there. No. Rev. Um, much well, like that this one. Arrow. Exactly. Yeah, rev. I don't know. Icon. <laughs> I. I mustn't dare suggest. I doubt but, it. But like, if it's well, icon. To be fair, icon's wheels didn't sound great today because it was squeaking. Yeah, I mean, if if that's an icon wheel, like, yeah, that's cool. I want it, but please label it and let it not be 250 quid identity crisis alert we've got lancashire here in case you forgot what county you're in but these new little pleasure beach resorts are like jumpers are quite nice to be honest like no special logo or anything it's just the text but yeah like stuff like that is cool just yeah that's the same but it says lancashire instead of resort but um yeah i don't know it's just a gray jumper with pleasure beach resort and it's quite nice like the look of them. Oh, trees been cut down there, Ice Blast. I showed the bowler drone arcade, but not the Palladium, but it does look like they spent a bit of time and money, sort of. Freshening up and rearranging the arcades this year, which, like, yeah, it, don't get me wrong, it looks nice, but it's not really what, I mean, to be fair, this arcade actually does get busy, uh, as you can see. Um, this is new. Um, but yeah, like, I do have to see a dark ride, like a dark ride opposite a smooth one and roller coaster, which is still smooth by the way, running really well today, got two rides on it earlier, yeah it'd be a bit better but um, I don't know, I guess you could keep this arcade because it is, it does actually get busy as I said but uh, bowler drone, not really sure on that one. We have a VR roller coaster without a VR headset, oh no it's there, it's there. Someone's put it like down there. But yeah, these are all new. Like, yeah, they're cool, but I'd rather see a dark ride, as I said. Or a new coaster where Grand Prix is. Dark. More on that later in the video. No. The possible is still closed, but they're still all hard at work trying to get it back open. Over the winter, the ghost train has also had a bit of a freshen up. Last week it reopened, looking all fresh, like some of the facade has been repainted, the drop got repainted. But uh, yeah, it wasn't quite complete. However, this week is looking complete. And this looks like the finished result. Um, and I assume that sign up there might light up. A late night ride, it looks like it's got lights in it. But um, yeah, last week, obviously, this drop used to be like a reddy color. That might have been a reddy color, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's been repainted blue. Looks nice, looks fresh last week. However, these little spider things weren't here last week. And, um, I don't remember this sign being here last week. So uh, yeah, they basically added um, to the finished product. And that's it, and honestly, I think it looks amazing. Like that sign at the top there, um, which like I said, it might light up at late night riding. Um, probably would have been better if it stood out a bit more because it's got this sort of similar colour to the uh, to the background it's on but yeah like the whole blue paintwork um, like all this brick painting stuff got done a few years ago like yeah they're constantly working on like the interior and exterior of Ghost Train and it's great right now it's great like yeah the finished products of these spiders that sign up there absolutely love it however inside the ride I just feel like it's not as good as it could be they have added some cool stuff this year, like the new stuff in there is spectacular. Um, like there's a whole new scene as you're going that bit, um, yeah, um, with some like hooded people, um, new audio and stuff, 
um, and then that's followed by some jump scary type of events with some really cool like set pieces, bits of theme in, whatever you want to call them. But honestly really well made stuff and they look just really cool. Um, like that's all good but there's still bits that were already in the ride that isn't working that should be working. Like today the werewolf wasn't working but like if you know the ride as you go in there there's a little werewolf that pops out probably one of the loudest sort of jump scares in the ride um, apart from the fact you can see it coming um, but yeah that wasn't working there were a few other bits not working oh, the screen was a working. few bits of audio that were too quiet in my opinion as well today like Ghost Train took a big step in the right direction with like how it's going it's definitely better than what it was for the majority of last year however I do feel like it's still got a bit of a long way to go um, like yeah there's just a few more bits that they could sort of improve in there really but yeah to be honest I think it'll get there eventually because yeah they're constantly improving stuff in there I think it's and the same what they have done so far is amazing two weeks in River Caves is closed for the day um, but yeah it's a shame they've still got a journey to hell sign here man like what's this but yeah it's had some work done to it over winter it, like there were still some bits that needed sort of finishing off um, like say it was similar to Alice really where like there were, there were just bits of stuff that had been freshened up painted um, but the ride itself like wasn't working to its best um, there was like a snake animatronic like on the lift hill to the left of the lift hill like some of the like um, parts of that sort of bit of theming and wasn't there <laughs> so that looked weird but yeah it's all drained at the minute to be honest I don't know the full on reason like why it's shut I think there was an evac here last week as well but I don't know like it's a shame it's closed sort of two weeks into the season but I assume they're doing something in there that is going to improve it long term. We have just ridden Big Dipper, which is another smooth roller coaster here at Pleasure Beach Resort or Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And yeah, I guess it's speculation time. Grand Prix right here. We all know now that it's not going to be returning. Um, yeah, like what happens to this path? Like, I don't know, like if this path stays and this coaster track here, if it is a coaster, like, that's going to be really cool. Uh, otherwise, like, yeah, it's going to be a flat sort of in this area, maybe. I don't know, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's worth keeping an eye on, like, I'm going to be, like, coming here all the time now. Looking around, like... Just thinking about what could be here in a couple of years' time. Um... Like, yeah, it will be interesting. But yeah, like, does this path stay? And also, if the station to this coaster is where Grand Prix station is, like, how do you sort of have the layout sort of down here and then get back up to the station there? It'd have to be a pretty high ride. We'll have to see. We will have to see. I don't know what this little hill thing is. It looks, it's got some stones in it. <laughs> so I assume like something used to be here like not a ride obviously like it's not ride hardware but yeah <laughs> I don't know. Bradley and Bella's garden could be seen like yeah who knows like how much longer this will be here for as a helicopter. But yeah like I don't know if it wasn't to be a coaster and there was just a flat ride there like I don't know this could be a queuing area I think it is going to be used for the ride area sort of I don't know I'm going off on one here but yeah I just can't imagine this staying whilst there's a coaster or it'll at least get short and like this bit here because not many people can walk in through here I think it's just more of like used as more of like a quiet space which I suppose it's important to have that obviously but yeah like wow Grand Prix is no longer like going to operate here and like I say, if, I mean, to be honest, if we do get a coaster here, like, I would like to keep Bradley and Bella's garden here because, yeah, imagine how close you get to it, but yeah, like, I don't know, it is a small space. Like, sometimes I look at it and think, like, yeah, that's a big space, you could fit like a coaster there. Sometimes I think, like, yeah, it's small. Maybe a big drop tower would fit here, like, even though Ice Blast is staying. 
like Grona Lund have multiple drop towers so it works. No, we need a coaster. But yeah, as Ben said, I would prefer to see a coaster. We need a coaster designed by Frillnet. Well, is that a hint to a video that's coming on Frillnet? It might be. Subscribe! Subscribe. Stay tuned! <laughs> but yeah, like, we can't not speculate. Like, what are we thinking? I think that um, I would start a ridiculous rumour personally <laughs> that with RMC single rail. Um, that would be amazing. Yeah, It'd get all the enthusiasts well, you know on the side guys, as well. I, I have started an attempt, but I'm going to have to change it because at the moment it almost collides with Icon Station. <laughs> I don't understand how. Like, you've got the bridge. No, because there. I did an airtime hill over the bridge. Does this bridge even stay? I did an airtime hill over the bridge and I'm having to like dive to the left to avoid the station. I think I'm going to change that. No, like. Yeah, I don't see it personally. You're going to have to show I me see. that yeah, yeah, <laughs> before you change it. But yeah, like I say, I, I agree with the whole single rail no, thing. Like right. RMC, even into mini flight and RMC isn't possible. Because um, yeah, like that is probably the most compact thing that you could get, to be honest, that would actually pack a few frills, some good little elements. Some are obviously suggesting that Avalanche is going to go and like, that creates a massive space in this whole line here for something massive like some are even saying like oh let's reclaim the height record it's ambitious to do that i think and i, I personally i don't think they're going to get rid of avalanche it's got a new sign they've done work to the queue line recently they've been repainting the actual ride spending a lot of money on like keeping it operating but i don't know i mean We'll see what happens. If Avalanche goes, yes, the ride could, has more potential to be bigger, better, whatever. Like, you could go really high here. Um, otherwise, like I say, this space would probably do. I don't mind sacrificing this little garden. Um, as much as it is a nice little place to come and vlog and sit and eat and drink and stuff, chill out. Uh, on a sunny day like this. But yeah, like, an Intamin single rail, an RMC single rail. Like... I don't know, what's it called? Big Dipper? I don't think they'd be able to call it Big Dipper, but Big Dipper at Luna Park, Sydney. Um, like, yeah, it's hard to tell what the footprint's like for that, but if you know, let me know. Like, do you think it'd fit here? Because, what? like, I'd love to know. Like, Big Dipper at Luna Park, Sydney. Because that's um, a single maybe. rail coaster. Well, we're going to... We're going to... We, it's going to be better than that. Yeah. Then, obviously, people have been saying get a Mac Big Dipper on Bowler Drone for ages. But Mac Big Dipper here. Yeah, I think a single rail is unique and it would get the enthusiasts on the side as well because everybody wants an RMC. So, yeah, if it was RMC, I think that would be favourable. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's one of them things like. I'm not starting any rumours or anything, but like, it's hard not to speculate when you've been told that a ride is being removed for a new attraction, so like, yeah, it's all good fun and it'll be cool to watch stuff like this back when something is over there and like, everything we've just said is probably a load of rubbish, but it doesn't matter. Here's a quick look at this. But yeah, really well. The station, the, uh, the station area of Grand Prix, the sign's gone. Apart from that, yeah, it's just normal. Yeah, no exit. Station, we exit out to the right at about an 120 degree turn. Then we're going yeah. up about 100 foot width still. Oh, I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's a big drop though to go down to the lift hill, like all the way down there. Cause it's yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But it's possible yeah, if this is the station, but. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if this dome area got used as well for this because it stood there doing nothing. There used to be an arcade in there. Just cables hanging down inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, like I say, like, um, it used to be an arcade in there and stuff. And it's probably a decent sized space. Like, yeah, this arcade is no more, obviously. It's not been like open for a long time now. And yeah, maybe like this area can be mixed in with this area and down there. I don't know. Because if that's the case, then it does make the space a bit bigger um, for potential rides. I do hope they keep that Formula One car though that they used on the big one that time. <laughs> like they've got to keep that somewhere. While it's coming in, we're going to go on the train. It's not as busy as it's been. Uh, 
earlier on today, the train is really short. Uh, there's a lot of carriages. Hiya! Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of carriages that should be on there that aren't at the minute, like probably getting maintenance and stuff. Sometimes like the engine can't handle like all them uh, carriages, I believe. But yeah, like it's been busy like last weekend and this weekend there was a time we came on earlier and we literally got the last seat available so yeah Pleasure Beach Express is in demand and I love to see it because I love this ride um, but yeah we need the back two carriages back or three carriages whatever this train is going almost as fast as last week but uh, it did go a bit slower on Sunday and this morning um, but yeah it's literally rounds like yeah, it's good to see it's in the man though. I don't know, but I absolutely love Pleasure Beach Express. It's very noisy. Yeah, this park in nice weather, blue sky, all that. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he's fuming. He can't get his shots literally like this. There we go. What the hell? Yeah, there's literally three carriages plus the wheel wheelchair carriage on. Uh, that's not really enough, but the scaffolding's still up. It might have reopened today, but the scaffolding is still up on the big one. The new retrack was this bit here. It's not very good because of the sun at the minute. But yeah, like I say, it wasn't a particularly a rough section of the ride, but if it was a ride, if it was a piece of track that needed sort of repairing because of wear and tear and stuff, that is beautiful. Blue sky, big one. Love it. Miss this. I agree with Ben though, like the slower the better for this ride. It's going a bit too quick. Got lucky then, it stopped to let hotel guests off. So we got a nice shot of big one. Looks like Avatar Airbend just shut there as well. Or either that or the... It, it, yeah. Oh yeah. They put like the cover on the centre thing anyways. But yeah, Nick Clan does shut up for... Last weekend it got extended till five. But I assume that's because of the... Um, thingy. I assume that's because of... The poor ride avail availability like around the rest of the park like Nickland was the only area in the park that was actually going smoothly on uh, Saturday last week so yeah new coaster hopefully yeah I prefer this ride when it's going slower it's less noisy it's easy to get shots lasts longer it's more chill but uh, <laughs> yeah Still love it. Icon is running so well. Oh, it's beautiful. I've just had like my first back row on there of the season. Back row rides on there are quite rare nowadays because of Enzo. So yeah, I do prefer the front, I think. But it's always nice to do it. Honestly, big appreciation appreciation segment for Icon. It's aged so well, like it's turning six years old this year. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Um, I know, I know, yeah. Um, Helix is a bit better, of course. Um, but yeah, still absolutely love the thing. It's not ruined it or anything. And also, operations on there are t on top form. They're smacking the trains out. It's on two trains. I don't know if the third one's ready or anything, but does it need it? Not really. It's not like 100% it must be on sort of thing. But yeah. I don't think there's ever been a point today that I've seen like the second train sort of make it to the station before the um, train in the station has been dispatched so there's been no stacking on there at all honestly the dispatch is amazing to be honest um, well yeah nothing but good things to say the ride's flying they're smacking the trains out the weather's nice. Happy days. I'm just like that. My day at Pleasure Beach has come to an end. It's come really quick today. And out of the three days I've been here this season, obviously all three of the days, um, this has been by far the best. When the big one's operating, it just like, well, more like when the big one isn't operating, it feels like something's missing. Because it's the main draw to the park, obviously. You can see it from literally everywhere. Um, so yeah, when it's not operating, yeah, it feels like something's missing. But uh, it's been great to have it back today. Like I say, 
they did say it was going to be ready for this weekend but the wind made me a little bit doubtful but it's literally operated all day I think it, what time did it open like 12 half 12 um, so yeah and it's not gone down at all I don't think anything has gone down at all today unless we've missed it but if we've missed it then that means it's obviously been a pretty short amount of time so yeah, today has been by far the best day and the weather's helped as well, like, beautiful. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give a bit of an update video because like I say, a few things have changed since last week. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, I appreciate all the support on the opening day videos, the one I did about Grand Prix and the full vlog from the park. If you haven't seen them already, go and check them out. But until next time, Hopefully we actually get to some other parks as well at some point soon, but uh, yeah. Until next time, from Pleasure Beach Resort in Blackpool or Lancashire, wherever it is, Great Yarmouth, uh, Bottoms. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the screen to see more. I'll see you next time.